Hey, it's Jake here. Are you stuck with a blacklisted IMEI or a bad ESN on your device? Before you start thinking about paying for expensive services or sketchy software, hold up. In this video, I'll show you multiple ways to remove that blacklisted IMEI from your iOS, Android, or any SIM card device. Trust me, there's a better, safer, and free alternative that's quicker and guaranteed to work. Stick around and let's get your device back in action. Just a heads up, this info is only for people who own their device and have forgotten their access info. We don't support using it to bypass security on stolen devices. Follow the law and respect others. Our video follows YouTube's rules. Now let's get started. Awesome, now let's dive right in. You've probably heard about quite a few services that claim to remove blacklisted IMEIs, right? Among them, there are a few that truly stand out. Have you checked out ES and Doctor? It's a top-notch service for blacklist removal. Or perhaps you've come across Safe Unlocks? It's another great option that's been getting some really positive reviews. Then there's Unlock, here's AI-powered unlocking web app. This one is a game changer. Its user-friendly interface makes the process a breeze and the AI assistant guides you step by step. Remember though, the best solution for you depends on your specific needs. It's all about figuring out which option works best for your situation. In this next part, I'll walk you through exactly how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant, so stay tuned. So just a quick heads up for anyone watching this tutorial. These unlock services are mainly designed to work in first world countries. If you're having trouble accessing them, don't sweat it. We've got something for you. Each week we're giving away 250 unlocks for users who watch our videos. Ready to grab yours? It's super simple. Hit that like button on this video, click subscribe, and drop a comment below. In your comment, include the model of your device. That could be, say, a Samsung S9, your IMEI number, and the country where you're tuning in from. Once you've done these steps, you're automatically in the running for the unlock giveaway. And that's it. Sounds good, right? Let's get to it. Start by heading over to your favorite browser, either on your phone or computer, and type in unlockhere.com, which will take you straight to the official AI unlocking website to initiate the removal of the blacklist on your IMEI. Once there, you'll meet Nifty, the AI-powered tool developed by the Unlock Here team. Simply scroll a bit and select the option that fits your needs, in this case, Fix IMEI Blacklist. Go with the flow of the app, beginning by selecting your device's brand. Don't worry, they've included all major and medium-sized brands. Just find yours and click on the Next button. The following step will ask for your device's IMEI, or serial number. There's a straightforward tutorial available in the app to help you. Just dial star hashtag 06 hashtag on your phone and that's it. You'll have all the info pop up, including the IMEI number. The app will then require a way to reach you. Provide your name and email address, and ensure you're okay with the terms and conditions. Don't hesitate to check out the resources available in the app if you need more clarity on anything. After you've successfully submitted your request, Hold tight for an email with your unlock details. It usually takes between 5 to 15 minutes, and keep in mind to check your spam or promotion folder. To get your order rolling, copy the verification code from the email and click on Confirm My Order. Paste your code, complete the CAPTCHA, and wrap things up by clicking Validate Info and Start Unlock. And that's it, you're done. Nifty will take over and wrap up the unlocking process. Just pop in a compatible SIM card and restart your device. As demonstrated, the IMEI unlock method proves to be highly effective, not only for the Samsung S9, but also for a wide range of devices. You can go ahead and give it a try with confidence, and feel free to inspect your device to ensure everything is running smoothly. If anything trips you up along the way, don't hesitate to chat with live support. They're ready and waiting to help you out. All right, guys, let's look at some different ways you can legally deal with a carrier blacklist. Now, you might be thinking about some quick solutions you've seen online, but remember the best way to handle this is with methods that are not only legal, but permanent as well. So if you're dealing with a blacklisted device, one path you could take is going straight to your carrier. They have the authority to remove a device from the blacklist under certain circumstances, and this is completely legal. Another option is to pay off any unpaid bills linked to your device. Sometimes carriers blacklist devices due to unpaid dues. Clearing these can get your device off the blacklist. Or maybe your device is blacklisted because it's reported as lost or stolen. If you find a lost device and turn it into the carrier, they might be able to remove it from the blacklist. So there you have it, some alternative, legal ways to deal with a carrier blacklist. Give these a shot, but keep in mind, every situation is different. 
What works for one may not work for another, depending on your specific circumstances. Remember, persistence and resourcefulness can go a long way in finding the solution that fits your situation best. Stay informed, stay proactive, and you'll navigate through any challenge like a pro. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, take care.